the national leader of the All Progressive Congress and the former Lagos State Governor Bola Tnubu has told Nigerians, Nigerian youths, that they can only become president of the country after he has become one. <laughs> the 69-year-old politician said this during a visit to the Alafin of Royo Oba Lamide Adeyemi on Sunday. Tinubu's scheduled visit to Oyo Town was part of his engagement with traditional rulers across the six two political regions in respect of his 2023 presidential ambition. Speaking in Yoruba, he said, you won't give room for the elderly to pass and you won't become president. What if you become president? You will chase us out of town? You will grow old? You will become president? But I will become president first, he said. And these have got Nigerians talking. Honestly, you can see that these people are really very, very desperate. And what you gave him uh, the assurance, what, what gives him the assurance he will even become one? Nigerian politicians most times do, do talk as if they own their spirit. Tunubu is the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He has, you know, done where he has transformed this country to the nation of our dream. Hmm. You are wasting your time and money. Our high is done open. You cannot just use our money to buy, to buy us. And we cannot use our money to buy you that pampers. No way. Asso Rock is the political retirement home. When you push normal people, uh, stroke citizens to the war, they fight back. When you push Nigerians to the war, they will rather create a hole in the same war to caution the effect. Nigerians, hmm, your pre, your perseverance is top notch. Finally, it's only Nigerians that will deliver Nigeria. None else will as what problem now they you know they finish okay i beg your pardon i find it difficult to get the weddings well to me tunubu has every right to contest but it's not led for people to vote for him because Chawari made me to stand for human rights and i will not condemn tunubu for that okay bad market for 2023 may heaven fall and the righteous be taken away even with this kind of stupid statements some Uniform youths like Mr. Jelov will be singing this man's praises. The same person who has started leaking like a, a spit uh, bucket. Hmm. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. I think um, the statement by Tunubu is rather not friendly at all because you cannot make people to vote for you as in what i mean you cannot force people to vote for you if they don't want to vote for you and if nigerians say no you cannot become our president you cannot be because they will not vote for you you know saying that you must be the president of nigeria is like you are being desperate you understand and this is not good i don't know i don't know i don't know why our politicians like forcing themselves on the people who you want to govern. If people who you want to rule say no, we don't want you, why forcing yourself? Because now they the while that day. If you if you can check what is going on in Imo states, hmm, you not just go there. You can't force people to rule. You can't force people on people. That is what I wanted to say. You can't force people, you know, you can't force a leader on people because it will not go away. It doesn't work like that. There will no there will, there will be no peace. You understand? So to me, I feel that um, this statement made by Tunubu is rather really very harsh. You understand? The, the Nigeria is not owned by a particular people. The Nigeria is not owned by people, by some set of people. We are all Nigerians. This is our father's land. And you don't take it as if is your own now you get nigeria no not be you get her so is the citizen that will say you will be the president or not 
So even people when they talk say you not gonna be president, he has the right to contest. So yes, it's his right to contest. So it's not left for you to cast your vote. You get even the so-called youths now that are shouting this and this. How many of them now who don't see the ginger say they won't come out? At the end of the day, we are still going back to where we are coming from. If you people want to correct the mistake made yesterday, is now. Not by talking on social media. Is now. You guys, Nigerian youth, have to, you know, there is what they call to strategize now before it's too late. All right, someone said, hmm. Uh, even with this kind of stupid statement, you will not go anywhere because you can never be our president. Every old man out there wants to become a president first before the youth take over. Now, well, so Tinubu was 46 when he was a governor in 1999 and was probably 28 when he retired from a uh, public service. Some people know they fear God at all. He said, the truth is that these are our politicians. They feel that the government, in fact, Nigeria belongs to them. And that is the reason why they talk the way they talk, the way they behave and all that. Nigeria is not for some uh, a particular set of people. You understand? This shows that these people are desperate. And people like this will not care about the masses and that is what they always do they want to get there by fire by thunder allow choose allow people to choose you you cannot choose yourself on the people because it's an ogre way i always say this it's an ogre way look at what is happening in Himo state i am i am repeating this example again Himo state is boiling like fire because they they they, they impose a leader on them and things are not actually working with them. You understand? If the people say, okay, go, you go. But if Nigerians said, no, we don't want you, you, you relax. What is the need of all this? He even said that he, he will fight dirty and all that. So all these statements, does it really, you know, do, does it really warrant all these, these, all these things? What is fighting dirty, this and this and that. We fight dirty like pig and all that. All these are just a, 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 a des, de, desperation and all that. Whether we will get it, whether alive or dead and all that. Anyway, let's see how it goes. God has the final say. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.